Now do you remember I promised in winter That our hearts would be lighter one day Thank you again very much for coming along as so many of you did back in uh, March when we had the, the first meeting to uh, discuss these matters. Uh, I should acknowledge the presence of the State Member for Essendon, Judy Madigan, uh, and the Mooney Valley Ward Councillor, Jan Chantry, uh, and also the front is uh, Anthony Champlone, who is an elected officer of mine. Anthony's making a uh, a record of the, uh, the meeting and in terms of uh, uh, follow-up it's also a useful person to be uh, talking to. Uh, I had discussions with uh, Tim Anderson from uh, the Essendon Airport uh, Management and uh, with Judy and with Jan and followed up uh, some of the outstanding issues from the meeting which we had last time. It's the intention of this meeting of course to uh, report back on those issues. And after tomorrow, I promise to hold you and walk away. Uh, I did do a, uh, a speech in the Federal Parliament uh, uh, raising some of these issues. And again, I think there are a few copies of the, the speech around if people are interested in. Uh, seeing what I had to say about that, uh, we can make sure that you are able to do that. Uh, with each of these issues, I'm proposing to give people an opportunity to uh, uh, comment on them and, and respond as you see fit and think is appropriate. So, uh, uh, thank you for your attention and I'll now hand over to Tim. Last time at the meeting, um, we uh, really just discussed the broader issue of the airport and how it sits today. Broad objectives of these meetings is to inform and keep the uh, community advised so these properties will not be on site. <coughs> it's an important aspect that we are not like a lot of other developers who propose to you know, build things generally which can be a little bit quick and um, uh, what's the word? Sort of quick and nasty for want of a better word. Um, this is the stuff that we actually have to live with for around um, 99 years. Most companies are learning about services where they think they can make a profit and so far the state government has been able, unable to convince any bus companies um, to do that run because their view is that only have a very small number of people that actually use it. This is really running from many ponds into, into um, the DFO. The state government is going through a process of reviewing all bus routes at the moment. They've just finished the one from Mooney Ponds to Williamstown um, and the next one is Mooney Ponds North, or Essendon North. That way, they're doing one across the metro world now. That'll be about a year. So that'll be probably about the same time as they're talking about the orbital bus. And the orbital bus is a bus um, that, that runs around rather so that you can come across under it's rather than having to go in and out of the city all the time. So they're actually slightly two different routes. So that's what's happening with that at the moment. As that gentleman did point out, I think at the last meeting we did discuss that there was going to be some sort of crossing for the motor scooters to come out and cross over Mascona Street. Now, I understood that Tim, I think, or you and Rob were going to have discussions with Council in relation to putting some sort of a crossing there. It is a very dangerous corner, so I too, like this gentleman, would like to know how you're going to monitor um, the, and not only the safety of, of the people driving the motor scooters, but also the cars coming around those corners because I'm continually getting problems with mass going street traffic, speeding along those things, and I've introduced as the council uh, speed humps, but I mean, how are we going to guarantee the safety of these people coming out onto mass going street? I think there's two large issues that haven't been mentioned prior to this evening. They were beautification and integration. Integration of this wonderful land space that we have here into our suburb. The area, is, as some people would know, it's, it's over 800 acres. It's the size of the Melbourne CBD. It's a very, very significant piece of land. Now, when the Melbourne CBD was laid out, there were specific plans. That's why we've got such a magnificent layout in the centre in the centre of Melbourne because it was done, it was integrated, it was specified.
walk away from yesterday. Tonight's meeting was a really valuable experience. The Strathmore community is a really engaged community. It's got a long history of interest in the Essendon Airport site and concern about its impacts on the surrounding neighbourhood. Uh, some of the issues that came through tonight were the importance of noise walls and the uh, need for Vic Roads to reconsider its application of 68 decibels rather than 63 decibels as the criterion for noise walls. Uh, it's also important that we look at uh, other issues to do with residential amenity, for example the, the motor scooters from Australia Post coming onto Mascoma Street, that we look at protection of residences which back onto Mascoma Street, So, and also that we look at the public open space. Uh, people want to see Essendon Airport as more than just a, a profit making centre, they want to see what can it contribute to the local community.